Hi, Kipsters. Today we are actually going to do a very interesting strategy and lesson that's going to talk about a skill that's going to prepare you for algebra. Now, before I go into this, I just want to let you know what it means to factor. We all know that factors are numbers that we use to multiply. But to factor, the verb means to take out of a group the greatest common factor that is shared amongst that group of numbers. Okay? So the first thing we're going to do is know that factor means to take out the greatest common factor. So before I do this, I have to find the greatest common factor of both 36 and 54. So, I'm going to prime factor out 36. I get 2, 18, 2, 9, 3, 3, 3, 1. Prime factor out 54. 2 doesn't go into it. It does go into it. So 2, 27, 3, 9, 3, 3, 3, 1. So that's the prime factorization of that. Now what I'm going to do is, because I'm taking out the greatest common factor, I'm not just going to cross out one side. I'm going to cross out both numbers if they appear in both of the numbers themselves. So remember last time when I did greatest common factor and least common multiple, I just crossed it out once on this side? Well, because I'm factoring, I'm taking out the GCF, I'm going to cross it out from both numbers. For more information, you can watch the videos on prime factorization, greatest common factor, or least common multiple. So, I see a 2, do I see another 2? Yes, I'm going to take those out because I'm factoring them out, taking them out. I see a 2, do I see another 2? No. I see a 3, do I see another 3? Yes, so I'm going to cross both of them out. I see a 3, do I see another 3? Yes, so I'm going to cross both of those out as well. Now, I'm going to find the GCF. GCF is always the product of the crossed out factors. All you have to do is use one column, okay? So 2 times 3 is 6, and 6 times 3 is 18. So the greatest common factor of 36 and 54 is 18. So I'm going to take it out, and I'm going to show you how we can use the distributive property to factor. Remember, to factor means to take the GCF out of a group. So now, we're going to look at the product of the uncrossed out factors. And the product of the uncrossed out factors for this column right here is 2 times 1. And 2 times 1 is 2. So we're going to write 2 right here. And we're going to add this to the product of the uncrossed out factors over here. Well, let's look. 3 is not crossed out times 1. 3 times 1 is 3. So you just factored out 36 plus 54 by taking 18 as the greatest common factor out and being left with 2 plus 3 on the inside. Now the way you check to see if this is correct is you have 18 times 2. And 18 times 2 gives you 36. A good way to check this out, in case you can't multiply 18 times 2 real quickly in your head, is to break 18 up into 10 plus 8. So let's do 10 times 2. That's 20. And then 8 times 2, that's 16. 20 plus 16 gives you 36. So you've already checked to see if this is correct. Then you add this to um, 10 times 3, which is, 50, which is 30. And then 8 times 3, which is 24. 30 plus 24 is 54. And that checks out right there as well. You just proved how you factored out numbers into on the outside and we're left with a sum on the inside. Let us do one more. We're going to factor out 40 and 60. First step is to always find the greatest common factor first. So let's prime factor out 60 and 40. I get 2, 20, 2, 10, 2, 5, 5, 1. And then 60 is 2, 30, 2, 15, 3, 5, and 5, 1. Now I'm going to pull out the common factors that I see. I see a 2, I see another 2, so I'm going to cross both of those out. I see a 2, I see another 2, so I'm going to cross both of those out. I see a 2, I don't see a 2, so I'm not going to cross it out. I see a 5, and I see another 5, so I'm going to cross it out. Now, what I'm going to do is find the product of the crossed out factors, because that's the GCF. 
To factor means to take out the GCF and bring it on the outside of the group. So, 2 times 2 is 4 times 5 is 20. So the greatest common factor is 20. I took out the greatest common factor, therefore I factored it out. Now, the inside is the product of the uncrossed out and, and numbers. 2 times 1 is 2, and 3 times 1 is 3. Therefore, the factored out expression of 40 plus 60 is 20 times 2 plus 3 in parentheses. Let's check it out. 20 times 2, 40. Good. Plus 20 times 3, 60. Great. Now, some of you may be wondering, why do we have to know this? Well, because it prepares you, it gives you the actual skills you need to do a problem like this when you get to algebra. And I'm going to show you how to factor this out. 8y plus xy plus y squared. I'm going to show you how to do that right now. Well, use our method that we've been using all along. Let's factor out 8y, xy, and y to the second power. And y squared actually means y times y. The exponent tells you how many times to write the base as a factor. So y times y using multiplication. All right, let's find the prime factorization of 8, because 8y eight really means 8 times y. So let's find 8 first. Well, I can pull out a 2, I'm left with 4 times y. And then to pull out a 2, I'm left with 2, and then times the y. Let's pull out a 2, and I'm left with 1 times the y, and 1 times y is y, because of the identity property and multiplication. What can go into y? y. How many times? 1 time. Okay? I just factor that out. Now the next step I'm going to do is I'm going to factor out xy. xy really means x times y. So let me take out x as a factor, and I'm left with y. Let me take out y as a factor, and how many times can y go into y? One time. All set. Next one. I am now going to factor out your y squared means y times y. So factor out a y, and how many means? y, and y can go into y one time. Now check this out just to make sure. 1 times y is y, y times y is y to the second power. Great. 1 times y, y, y times x, x, y. In algebra, we typically put the um, variable that comes alphabetically first in the beginning. It's just a conventional thing. And then the next one is 1 times y is y, y times 2 is 2y. And in algebra, we usually put the coefficient, which is the number that is being multiplied by the variable first, okay? And then 2y times 2 is 4y. 4y times 2 is 8y, all right? Now, just like we did before, find the greatest common factor. Well, I see a 2. Do I see a 2 here? No. 2 here? No. I see a 2 here. 2 there? 2 there? No. It has to show up in all of them, because I'm taking out this factor out of all of them. If it doesn't show up in all, you can't use it at all. If it doesn't show up in all, you can't use it at all. Alright, I have another 2. 2 doesn't show up again. I see a Y. Do I see a Y? Yes. Do I see a Y? Yes. So, I'm going to factor out a Y. Now, the product of the crossed out factors is the greatest common factor. Well, just look at one column. Product is Y. Therefore, y is taken out. Now, what goes on the inside is the product of the remaining factors that are not crossed out. And we have a term plus another term plus another term. Okay? Now, 2 times 2 is 4 times 2 is 8. So I'm left with 8 right there. Okay? Next, I have y times 1 is y. So I'm left with y. And then I have, I'm sorry, x times y. Sorry, x times 1. x times 1 is x. All right? I got my x and my y mixed up because of the way they looked. But x times 1 is x. And then y, remaining factor, times 1 is y. Therefore, to factor 8y plus xy plus y squared, you now have y times parentheses. 8 plus x plus y. And that is how you factor 
this algebraic expression. I hope you enjoy and see the utility and use of the way that they use prime factorization and factorization in India to help us to use many different concepts and apply it so that we can understand mathematics more clearly. Thank you.